Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi, this is my studio, these are my tarot cards uh, and this is your weekly prediction for the week June 20th to June 26th for air signs. So air signs include Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So in this video we will be reading in this particular order. That is we will first read or give you the uh, weekly predictions or possibilities for Gemini and then Libra and then Aquarius. So before I go on and give you a weekly predictions, I would just like to say that all my links for my website to my Instagram um, and my YouTube channel are, are, are all in the description of this episode. So please feel free to contact me. Hello Gemini, so welcome to your weekly prediction for the week June 20th to June 26th. Uh, so for this week, uh, all right, so uh, for, for your oracle card or your astrology card, we have Yod or Destiny with the number 48. And for your tarot cards, we have the Five of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Ten of Wands. You know, I was reading the uh, book which comes with this uh, like with these oracle cards or, or these astrology cards and for this particular card it says that you meet your destiny on the road that you take to avoid it and that's exactly the energy sort of you have this week Gemini I feel like if you do not feel that there are connections or you are in certain relationships or I'm also getting like I don't know certain friendships that are just not making you happy that are just not making you feel fulfilled once you let them go, you'll actually make space for something new. Because with the Five of Swords, uh, Five of Swords is actually a card of deception, uh, where somebody is, you know, just not being good to you. And the more you accept this kind of a behavior, the more you tell yourself about what you deserve in life. But I, I, there's sort of like a destined element uh, this week and the events that are taking place this week. It's like, even though you don't see, even though you feel energetically, uh, drained a little bit uh, because of your situations these could be mostly you know with with friendships and with friends or in terms of your career or basically in any aspect of your life if you feel energetically drained because ten of wands is uh, is like a card where you are energetically drained because wands is, is all about energy is all about the fire element and if you feel energetically drained, for example, if you speak to somebody and you feel like, you know, suddenly you're very negative and you're just not happy. These also could be family members for some of you. You have to let those things go. You have to uh, let those people go out of your life and just stay hopeful. The three of wands is a person who's just waiting on the horizon for their manifestations to come through for their, uh, you know, the wishes the, to just sort of like have an answer to where to go next and I think like towards the end of this week if you really take steps to uh, telling yourself what you really deserve and letting go of the people or the things or the situations that are not good for you and you know not uh, settle for anything less than that you less than you deserve then you would actually be in this beautiful energy of bringing in newer energies that are actually healthier for you i feel like this week you need to really go within introspect about what you feel about how a, a specific situation how certain people make you feel and it doesn't mean that you have to give everybody some sort of a character certificate judging others is none of your business but then it's really important to to discern what makes you feel happy and what does not make you feel happy yeah so that's all that i have for you this week uh gemini i hope that this was helpful in some way and please don't forget to check out your sun moon and rising sign as well hello libra so welcome to your weekly prediction for the week june 20th to june 26th so for your oracle or your astrology card we have fire element with which says desire with the number 37 then for your tarot cards, we have the Hermit card, which is a major arcana. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. We have the Seven of Cups. Libra, there are people in your life who do not have like your best interest. I know like this is a general reading and I just don't, I, I try my best not to give such harsh messages on in personal and generic readings but i don't feel like sugarcoating it and i feel like if you think there are people in your life who are taking advantage of your goodwill you have to take your power back this week 
Libra and not be dependent on other people. You know, Librans have a beautiful tendency to balance things. But when Libra is not in a balanced or an energized or a happy state of mind, they also have a strong tendency to feel codependent on others. That which means that they sort of become very people pleasing and they think that they cannot say no to people or they cannot let go of people who are not good for them. This is so what you should not be doing this week Libra because with the fire element I was reading the guidebook for this card specifically and the only line that caught my attention was that speak your mind say no to the things that are not good for you and to the people who are not good for you okay Libra you know it's so easy to hurt people who are whom we sort of take for granted and another you know downside of Libra is that Librans sometimes they take people for granted who are sort of all always there for them do not take people who have really proved that they love you uh, for granted don't take them for granted but if you know that so there are certain people who are not good for you please please let them go because the seven of cups is actually I, I don't know this is the worst for me this is the worst card in the tarot because this is a card which speaks about that somebody is not being true to you somebody is really lying to you and I and the three of swords in the reverse three of swords is a card of heartbreak and in the reverse this this says that you're not ready to break your heart and uh, by this maybe you're trying to people please and keep people who are unhealthy for you in your life because you you know the the pain or the strength that you need to say no you don't feel worthy of saying no to people who deserve that so yeah so be very open at the same time don't close your heart don't be too harsh to everybody i do feel that there are a lot of caring people around you it's important for you to understand who the people who love you who have your, your best interest in their mind and people who are just using your goodness and your positivity Hermit is all about finding your own truth and trusting your own gut so that's all that I have for you uh, Libra I hope that this was helpful in some way and it made some sense and I'm gonna see you again next week and uh, please don't forget to check out your Sun Moon and Rising sign as well hello Aquarius so this welcome to your weekly prediction for the week June 20th to June 26th so for your oracle or your astrology card we have sun which says spirit with the number one we have the wheel of fortune which is a major arcana in the reverse we have eight of pentacles and then we have seven of cups so uh this week maybe you know you're sort of uh, aquarius feeling that there's a delay in the things that you want so there is like sort of like a confused energy because seven of cups can speak about confusions or being too dreamy or thinking that you know oh my god I want this and that and you know it's not really coming through I feel like the only thing that's missing is your hard work you know it's uh, when we there are so many people on the internet talking about manifestation and you know you do this ritual that ritual but the first ritual that you really need to do is first you need to meditate so that you center your brain and you get to you know cleanse your thoughts work on your mental health the second ritual that you need to do is work hard we really underestimate the strength and the power of hard work of consistency and hard work does not mean working hard in any direction but that is why it's so important to meditate before you begin to work in in certain direction if it's making sense because once you meditate once you work on your mental health you get to know what you deserve you get to know what your fears are telling you and what your true desires are trying to tell you and then you with a stable state of mind with consistency with discipline with hard work you work towards the things that you really desire that your heart truly longs for so the eight of pentacles is all about hard work is really a person who is ready to put in the work if there are things that are not working for you uh, it's because sort of maybe you are being a little lazy is the uh, message that i'm getting because with the sun spirit um you know uh, aquarius is uh, if if your sun sign is aquarius especially the, your sun sign is supposed to sort of um uh, sort of illum illuminate the side of you that you truly are or you know your your desires where who you are how you're showing up in this world and um aquarians are offbeat they're not conventional 
but the only reason why an aquarian would not appreciate themselves is why anybody who is offbeat would not appreciate themselves is because of lack of self worth and self love really meditate contemplate you know work on your mental health and then work hard as well that is the only way to manifest and not just work hard and then you know drain out drain out all your energy but stay consistent stay disciplined stay regular in your actions as well yeah so that's all that i have for you aquarius for this week i hope that this was helpful in some and it made some sense and i'm going to see you again next time and please don't forget to check out your sun moon and rising sign as well bye bye take care